This is a video review for Beast Wars um, Transmetal 2 Optim Optimus, and I know what you're thinking, why is he mistransformed? Well, there's a reason for that. This is what he looks like when you get him out of the box, um, and a lot of people when they've done reviews haven't exactly got the transformation 100% correct, because I've noticed little details, I'm going to have to nitpick nearly every reviewer has missed something out from this guy, it being different nearly every time, or being the same. Um, some people said his knees are very loose, nope. Some people have transformed him in gorilla mode incorrectly. No way. I'm going to show you guys now how to actually transform him from each mode correctly. Uh, first of all, I'm missing one of these, but I have everything else. Um, so we're going to start off by disconnecting these, rotating them down like that, and take this, and you rotate it like that, and like that. And what you do is you take these, and these will instantly spring outward. Like this, and then you have to ram that in there. This is a bit difficult to do. Like this is, well, that was easy. And then you have it. Then you have pretty much the fist done. The arm. This this is one arm done. The others, because I'm missing a piece, I have to blue tack them in, uh, which I'll do that in a sec. But this is this is the main part. The legs are the main part. You see. See here, most people do the legs like that. That's not actually what you're supposed to do. You you see, you don't do it that. You do, see that? And it disconnects the entire section, allowing you to bend his knee the other way so that it's sunken in like that. That is what you're supposed to do. I have done the research myself. And that's dislodging this. Yeah, his, old, his his joints are very squeaky, this guy's pretty old. And um, and then this just folds down. Mine's actually broken because of a, um, a situation uh, which occurs. He suffers from brown plastic syndrome, which means that he's going to break. At least part of them is going to break very easily. Um... So this is his gorilla mode. Oop. And these parts just pop off whenever they want to because that's what they do. Uh, I kind of like the way this mode looks now. Um, if you remove these, you get some nice fur detailing here. We're going to keep these off. He does have a gimmick, which I'm going to fire it at the camera. There's a little lever in here, and I like the way it looks with this on, but... If I push this, and this goes pretty far, I hope it doesn't hit the camera. As you can see, the shield pieces fly off. Basically what happens is it releases this, which springs, uh, which there's a spring in there. But when it does, these also fly off. And then you're left with this. I got these parts at a charity shop yesterday. It's what we call it in the UK. In the US, it's known as a thrift store, but in the UK, it's called a charity shop. And I'm going for about 99p because they sold this guy in there. But uh, I wanted the pieces, so I just got the pieces that I wanted off him, and I bought them. I just took them to the counter, said they were from the other figure. I've got the figure at home. I just want the parts, and they they sort. They said, "Sure, why not?" <laughs> so I really appreciate that. Uh, you're probably noticing some paint differences here and here. I'm actually painting him up with more silver, like a nice shiny silver to kind of give him that look that he had in the TV show where it was all shiny because as you can see he's all chrome and I kind of want him to be really shiny except I'm going to leave the orange as it is but the silver I'm going to paint up. So now we're going to get to his APC mode as I call it uh, which is a bit more complex. Rotate these up uh, and then rotate these downward. This flips up and that goes around this comes back on a second hinge, and then this comes up, and then it accordions downward, and then like that. Straighten out the, the legs. This is a very tough transformation, but it's a good one. Angle the feet back. Fold these downward. The missiles would also clip in there if I hadn't. <laughs> And this isn't complete. This is not complete yet. Uh, we need to form this again. At least for this side. We'll do, it, we'll do the other one last because the, the parts are blue tacked, only blue tacked in. 
Come on. Get in there. There we go. Uh, and then what we do is we disconnect these, push the head in, which allows this to come out. And then we just take this and we ram it back in the pegs. Fold it like that, like this. And then these have pegs and we just empty the hand, just open the hands a bit, why did I say empty? And we just do that with them. And then we have to just, we have to resituate the legs. So we're gonna take one leg at a time. We're gonna bend them and then bend them at their actual knee joint and just rotate this down. This guy's big, like he's really big. And situate that down and just take these and ram them in their respective places. And here is the armoured personal carry mode. This is just what I call it. I really like the way this mode looks. I think it's a great mode for him. I don't like this being visible, but I don't know if it was visible in the show, but who cares? And yeah, I do have a light over there. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm just situating the camera out. But yeah, I really like the way this mode looks. I prefer it from this side because it's got this. I like that side. But um, now we're going to get to jet mode. Oh God. There for it rolls very nicely. I'll get to Jetman in a sec actually. And he has dark blue chrome here on the wheels. So yeah, uh, jet mode. We're just going to remove these two again. Don't have to remove them on the other side. And take this and turn it like that. So it's facing up. And repeat the same. Ah! Tabs them very tightly off these pieces. Do the same with the other. Yes, mine has a cardboard thumb which is threading by elastic because I was missing the original. Take these. I'll take them outward, and the original jet mode, I have to, I have to trans mistransform it because of how ridiculous the original mode looks. We're going to do the original, and I'm going to show you what I like to do because I just think the original transformation looks completely retarded. And you'll see why in a sec. Straighten the legs. Flip these like that. And, um, right, now from the top, oh, and just like that. Now, from the top, it looks a bit strange. Doesn't look too, it, it looks okay, actually, but then, but from the bottom, I mean, if I get this like that, it doesn't look too bad, but then when you rotate it up, what is, what is this? What is all that? Sorry, uh, what the hell is this? This just looks completely stupid. So here's what I like to do. First of all, throw these backward, keep the head folded down, fold the wheel out and crunch it like this, and then rotate it up, and then rotate these shoulder pieces upward, like you're turning them into his final mode, which we'll get to, and tap them into place. Trust me, this makes the jet mode look so much better, and it's how I always transform it. Then, rotate the arms up, right? And then just fold that down. And that, in my opinion, looks so much better. Oh. There. Now for the final mode, where we don't have to worry about these anymore. First of all... Blast them off, all of them, and this is the final mode, which I really, I usually always have them in this mode, because this mode is good. I'm going to cut, cut the camera here and just get it to make, get it a bit higher, because this guy, believe it or not, he's tall! Right, uh, the camera's a bit higher, but it's sinking like mad, just give me a sec to put something in place, stop it. Uh, right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to... Sinking all over the place. I'm gonna sit at the side so it's easier. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna just rotate it backward, and then rotate it around like that. Just keep those like this, and then take these and just turn them, just bend them out of the way, and then take these and you have to bend them this way, and then we're gonna turn the whole top assembly round and fold these inward. 
And then we're going to keep this like this for a minute. Bend these, take this, fold this down. Now I have to fold mine down partially because uh, it part broke and I'll show you in a minute. And then split these. Here's the part which mine broke. Uh, mine had a hinge and it shattered as you can see. So I had to use a ball joint. A uh, bionicle to repair it. It's, so it has to sit. So that has to be slightly risen in order to hold it up. Otherwise you get it doing that instead of sitting like that. So you know. And then what you do, now some people, and this just looks stupid, have his arms like this. No, you, you don't have his arms like that at all. You have them about here. Just flip the fist around. Rotate these down. Would you want them down there? Actually, you want them like this, really. Uh, stop him looking as aggressive. And rotate that down. And then you want to take one of these, click it on the back. The back ones are the tightest, actually, which is what I've noticed. These back ones that go in the back are really damn tight. It's not the pegs, it's the holes they peg into. And then we're going to take this one and ram it in there. But this one is a bit different. You're going to take this and you're going to slot it into there. And you're going to take this and peg it on, making sure those slots just line up. And then rotate the chest upward. Although you could have it like that and have it some Gundam robot thing in Bob. And then what you do is you get a nail, you reach in here, you flip up his head. And here you have him in his completed robot mode. I had to get him like that just to show off the transformation because it is extremely damn difficult. This guy really is big, as you can see. Just give me one quick second, I need to just collect something to help raise the camera a little bit higher. There we go, using game boxes, I use my Black Ops 2 pre-order box, because I, yes, I do like my games. Um, there we go, much better. Uh, now, his, he has a lot of articulation and a lot of really great detail. I really like this figure, this arm is a bit saggy, the ratchet in here is a bit old, as you can see. Uh, this one works better, but this one, uh, now that he has the shoulders, he looks way better in my opinion. He did have a light gimmick, that all shattered too, so this is just glued in place, and most of it had to be re-glued because the fact that half of him bust up. <laughs> Let's get Rhinox. I have the original Rhinox and I bought him without a sword, so he's got a cardboard one, which works well. As you can see, this is pretty much a bit inaccurate scale. Optimus, Optimus is massive, so Grim Rhinox should be up only go up to his here, really. But you know what? I don't mind. I think this is pretty decent enough. But, you know, it's a shame because uh, you can't have more stud on his jet mode <laughs> riding than what they did in the show. Uh, just move him out of the way and get to here. his articulation. This guy's really, really articulated. His head can rotate on the ball joint. His waist is on a very nice ratchet. His arms are on two ratchets. You've got this one for the transformation and this one for articulation. Uh, elbow bends, swivels, wrists swivel. They even have a hinge joint here. Fingers can open, thumb moves mainly for transformation, but still really damn cool. Uh, legs are also very articulate. In and out, forward and back, and they bend. You could say two joints here and there, but this is a transformation joint, so listen. Yes, that means you know it's in place. Do that, your knee's fine. So it bends, and the feet even rotate. And this guy. I spent ages hunting for this guy. And I'm really happy I have in my collection. He is getting it to get painted so that his short silver, so that these greyish bits are a bit shinier. But overall, do I recommend this figure? Um, well, obviously, because one, it's freaking Optimus. Two, this guy's rare as hell. Like, I'm serious, this guy's rare. He, he was difficult for me to get my hands on. Really difficult, especially at a cheap price, because I did not have a lot of money when I got him, and I've had him several years. I think I said that too quickly. Basically, I've had this guy for several years. I just repeat myself in case I spoke too fast. And he's very he's very hard to come by for a cheap price. And back when I got him, 
he, you know, it was very difficult to find him. I did not have a lot of money to spend, and I really wanted one, and I got one for a good price, but no, no I've got these pieces, he's, he's even better. The only parts I don't care for are the missiles and the gun. I just want the shields. And they, are, they do sell the shields separately on eBay. Uh, but like this, now, I mean, I used to have them without these. So, he used to be like that all the time. But yeah, this guy is just, look at that sculpt. Yes, his eyes are painted because his light up given doesn't work. Uh, I painted the gorilla eyes red because they were inaccurate before, they were clear. But yeah, look at all this detail. In fact, they even mention this opens as well. Don't know why it does, but it's nice it does. All this beautiful detail on him. Uh, so yeah, final verdict. What rating? Is it a 10 out of 10? Nope, it's a over 9,000 out of 10. Because this guy, he only has one flaw and that's the brown plastic. Everything else is bloody perfect. The paint job is even perfect. A few minor details missed out, but that doesn't bother me that much. I can do those myself with some hum roll. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'd say this guy is really worth having in your collection. He's rare, and he's just, he's just rad. He is really rad. You could even make up some of your own forms, like a, a tank or an AA gun, because that's kind of what I did, like a big AA gun canon. I kind of like to make up my own form sometimes. But yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this figure, and this figure is really fun to have in the collection. Especially if you've got other Peace Wars figures like Rhinox, you can interact with them. Uh, and these, these are my only two Beast Wars figures, really. Um, except for the Armada Predacon, which is a repaint of the uh, Transmetal Megatron. But I want the Transmetal 2 one, which is a dragon. But yeah. This has been Ignicus Icarus, known as Archangel T9000, um, and I recommend picking this at this figure up, both of these, even though his review's not been done yet, but I recommend Optim Optimus because he's just really damn cool. I always wanted one as a kid, never got the chance to have one, and now I do have one, and you know, I'm in my late teens, and I'm pretty, I'm just really happy that I have one. It's like G1 Star Scheme, you know. Yeah, that fell over. Uh, I'm also looking to get G1 Megatron soon, but yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Post in the comment what you think, if you if you what you think on this guy, or if there's any other ones you think I should do, because I've got a lot of Transformers. See that whole wooden box? That whole wooden box is filled with them. Yes. In case you're wondering, I like Bakugan too. That is a Maxis Dragonoid. But yeah. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.